Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is writing zeros in the dividend. So uh, we've uh, done all kinds of division uh, methods here, and this method is the one way that uh, all us uh, old school people were once upon uh, time taught. So your parents uh, will probably remember this lesson here. So hey, and if you find these videos are helping you, uh, don't forget to click like on this. And here's our common course strand, and our, our essential question is, uh, what do we, when do we write a zero in the dividend to find a quotient? So here we go. So when decimals are divided, the dividend may not have enough digits for us to complete the division problem. So in cases like this, we can write zeros to the right of the last digit. So for example here, 87.9 is equivalent to 87 point, uh, I'm sorry, 89.7 is equivalent to 89.70 or 89.700. It just depends on, on how many zeros you're going to need to complete your division problem. So before we always wrote it as a remainder or, or wrote our answer as a mixed uh, fraction. So We'll talk about all of that here. So let's try a problem here. Brett rode his bike uh, for 45.8 miles in four hours. Find his speed in miles per hour by dividing the distance by the time. Okay, so we're going to divide uh, 45.8 divided by 4. Well, let's estimate this, you guys. Um, 45.8 divided by 4 is, is going to be close to 44 divided by 4. And 44 divided by 4, that's a nice, easy, uh, friendly uh, division that we can do. That's going to give us 11 right here. So we're going to get an answer that's going to be close to 11. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, write the decimal point in the quotient above the decimal point in the dividend. Okay, so here's the dividend right here. It's what we're dividing into right here. So let's write the decimal point right up here. Our quotient's going to be our answer. So the decimal point's going to go right up there. I don't know if you can see that right there. There it is. Real small little decimal point right there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to divide the tens, the ones, and the tenths in here. So we're going to divide into this ten and then into this one right here. And remember, this is eight is in the, is in the tenths spot. So this actually is red. Forty-five and eight tenths right there okay and the four is in the ten the five is in the ones and the eight is in the tenths okay let's go ahead and get going here so four goes into four tens one time right there we're dividing into the tens right here and then we're going to multiply four times one is going to give us four right there okay and then we subtract and four minus four is zero and then what do we do well we slide down the next digit right there so let's go ahead and slide that five down now we're going to divide that's the ones position so now let's divide the ones we're going to go four goes into uh, five uh, one time and then we're going to go ahead and multiply this 1 times 4 right there. So 1 times 4 is this 4. And then we subtract again. Okay, and then we get uh, 5 minus 4 is 1. So now we slide down the next uh, digit right there, the 8 right there. Remember doing this? And then 4 goes into 18. We're going to divide it into the tenths right there. This 8 is in the tenths. 4 times 4 equals 16, so we're going to um, multiply 4 times 4, and then we subtract, and we get 2 right there. Okay, now, there's no other digits right here, so what we're going to do is go back to what we said in the beginning of the lesson. Remember, 89.7 is equivalent to 89.70, so we're going to go ahead and tag a 0 right there, so... Write a zero in the dividend and can just continue dividing. Okay, so there's the zero. We're going to slide that down. This is uh, what your parents learned probably. This is how I was taught this method right here. Okay, and now we just continue dividing. So 20 uh, divided by 4 is going to give us 5 right there. So 5 times 4 is 20. Finally, we get a remainder of zero right there. So... Uh, Brett's speed was, it's sitting right at the top right there, 11.45 miles per hour. Okay. All right. Brett goes a lot faster than that. I know that. Um, okay. So uh, when we divide whole numbers, we can show the amount uh, that is left over by writing uh, with a remainder or writing it as a fraction. I'll show you in just a bit here uh, what I'm talking about, about writing with the remainder, our answer, or writing it as a fraction. And by, uh, by writing zeros in the dividend, like we just did, uh, we can also show the amount as a decimal. Okay. So here's another example right here. So let's go ahead and divide. We're going to write zeros in dividend right here. 
we're going to divide uh, 37 or 372 divided by 15. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go 15 goes into, it doesn't go into 3, but it does go into 30 right there. So let's go ahead and divide. So let's just divide until we uh, have an amount that's less than the divisor left over. So we'll just keep dividing until we get something less than 15 and we run out of digits right there. Okay, so uh, 15 times 2 equals 30. So that's how many 15s we can get into that 37 right there. And then we subtract and we get 7. Let's slide the 2 down right there. And then 15 times 2 equals 30. So if we double the 2, it gives us 4. So 15 times 4 is going to be double that 30. It's going to give us 60 right there. Okay, so when we subtract, okay, now we get... Um, uh, that 12 is less than 15 right here. So from before, uh, we would have stopped right there and said the answer was 24 with remainder 12, so 24R12. Or we would have said 24 and 12 15 It goes, you start at the top and go clockwise. You remember talking about that? Uh, from before, so 24 and 12 15 right there. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, write zeros in the dividend. So we're going to put a decimal right there and, and uh, write a zero right there. So let's insert a decimal point and a zero at the end of the dividend. So there it is right there. Okay, so there's the decimal and the zero. Now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to slide that decimal right up on top right there. So place a decimal point in the quotient above the decimal that's in the dividend that we just did. So there it is. And let's just continue dividing. Okay. So let's slide that zero down. And then, okay, now check this out, you guys. 15 times 4 gave us this 60. Well, if we double 60, that gets us 120. So if we double 4, that's going to get us 8. 15 times 8 is 120. All right, so then we subtract and we finally get a remainder of 0 right there. Okay, so 372 divided by 15 is going to get us 24.8. All right, you guys. Hey, uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. Hope you're having a great year. Take care.